a dream ride around Indy. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. So, um, I think I got a good idea of who reads the comments or the uh, description of the video and who doesn't. And I think the only person that reads it is uh, Zach G. Um, and he asked me a question. What's your route for a dream ride around Indy? What are your must stop locations and favorite hidden gems? Now, my assumption is, is that we're talking about people that are visiting Indy, not people that live here already. So if you're visiting, uh, I would suggest that you find a bike shop or where else could you get these? probably other places you can get these but a bike shop that has an indie ride guide and the ride guide is either going to look like this it may look like this that's the older version and i think it's bigger but i think it's a little nicer version this is going to have more update more updated trails but the ride that um, I used to do most often was just a loop around a handful of, you know, the greenways in town. So we would park at the velodrome, which is at 38th and Cold Springs Road. And, you know, you can kind of take a look around there. I guess that would be an interesting place to look. It's right across the street from Marion University, who largely uh, run the indie Cycloplex, Major Taylor Velodrome, and the surrounding area. And then from there, we would ride south on the White River Trail. That would take us into the downtown area. You'd go through White River State Park. From there, you can get on the Cultural Trail. The Cultural Trail will lead you downtown and actually will, will take you into um, like the Fountain Square neighborhood, which is gonna have a lot of neat, you know, restaurants. And that's the one great thing about the cultural trail is that it took all these little neighborhoods that weren't necessarily walkable from the downtown area and made it bikeable. It pulled these areas into the downtown area. Um, if you don't have a bike, there's uh, there are Pacers bike share uh, locations all over these trails, and those are also listed on these maps. But we would take the cultural trail over to Mass Ave, Massachusetts Avenue, and from there you can pick up the southern end of the Monon Trail. We would ride that all the way up into Broad Ripple. Broad Ripple is a little village that got kind of swallowed up by Indianapolis many, many years ago. There's a lot of neat little uh, shops and restaurants in Broad Ripple. And there you can pick up the canal towpath. The canal towpath goes through um, the Indianapolis, what, what they call 100 acres. You can access that. That's an art uh, museum property, I believe but you can also access the campus of uh, Butler University. Very nice uh, crushed limestone path that, that leads, uh, that follows the Central Canal. Uh, Central Canal. Um, and that takes you back to 29th Street, which you take across the river and back to the White River Trail and then back up to the Velodrome and you've got like a 20 mile loop. Now, the way I would do it today, uh, because there's some construction around the Monon, uh, some parts of it are inaccessible, and quite honestly, the Monon is just, especially on a weekend, it's too busy for my liking, especially when you get 
broader pool north. There's a lot of places where you've got to cross streets. Um, what I would do today is uh, maybe start from the area around the shop here, uh, right around the IUPUI uh, area of town, uh, the AMP where we started that ride that I did the video uh, on a couple of weeks ago. Take the new Fall Creek Greenway to the Monon and do it that way. Or you could take the Fall Creek Greenway all the way out to Fort Harrison, past the, uh, the, uh, hmm, state, the fairgrounds. Uh, Fort Harrison was obviously an old army base that they decommissioned in the early 90s. Uh, but they've turned it into a state park. Lovely. Uh, and they've got some mountain bike trails in there. There's just a lot to see. Um, the challenge was always that Indianapolis is very spread out. Um, you know, there's close to a million people in the in the city, but it's you know 25 square you know miles or something like that. And everything was very spread out. And what these greenways and trails have done is again made it made those areas that normally you would have to drive to made them accessible by bike. Um, hidden gems, I don't really know. Not much of a hidden gems guy. Uh, the Taggart Memorial, I think, is is uh, often overlooked. Not many people in town, you know, know about it or know the history of it. And now that it's been rehabbed, I think that's definitely worth a visit. Uh, there's a neat little spot uh, right as you get into Fountain Square. It's kind of odd. They took uh, some seating, I think, from the old Bush Stadium. We've got a minor league baseball team here, and Bush Stadium is actually right down the street here from the store. Um, they built a new stadium many years ago at this point. Unbelievable. One of the nicest minor league ballparks you'll ever see. Uh, they took the seats from the stadium and they've kind of scattered them about. And there's a section of seating that overlooks the highway, which is kind of an odd place for a contemplative uh, place to sit. Uh, but that's interesting. Fountain Square just, you know, in and of itself, because it was, it, it's quite old, uh, is an interesting place to see. There's just a lot to see. And I think if you get a ride guide, um, that'll kind of sh let you map it out. And it may take you more than, you know, one day. You may have to do a couple of rides to actually see everything you want to see. Um, but it's definitely worthwhile. Zach, I hope that answered your question. Thank you for the question. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm, uh, my head's about to come off. I don't know how people move every five years. Uh, I hope to never do it again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all of that stuff. I hope something good happens to you today. Till next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.